We're here to field testing the UGVs on men ground vehicles, uh, preparing ourselves for a uh, austere environment uh, with possible threats that are unseen, and we're going to be testing those with the unmanned uh, ground vehicle instead of ourselves, including uh, AMO for that quick reaction and insertion platform. Uh, our mission readiness is being completed through this unmanned ground vehicle testing by having us ready at any moment to deploy and insert uh, so that the threat can be identified by the vehicle and not ourselves. The UGV's capabilities include multiple cameras, uh, including uh, FLIR, infrared. They can also climb. They can also have a mounted arm, able to open doors, uh, move objects, put things from one place to another. Uh, and go over multiple different terrains. So CBP has been using these EGVs uh, for the last few months in field testing. Uh, we're, we're working them, seeing uh, where they're practical. Uh, we are testing out in Los Angeles in the maritime environment uh, and a little bit in the cargo environment and seeing how practical they are. Hope to accomplish today is see uh, the practicality of deploying these vehicles via helicopter uh, onto the deck of a, a ship uh, incorporating that maritime environment and seeing its practicality in that environment. CBP's mission readiness is supported through this event by being ready to deploy an unmanned ground vehicle uh, in an austere environment as well as an unknown threat environment, whether it be an oxygen problem, whether it be a chemical, a biological problem, not sending an actual person into that threat, but identifying it through the UGV, seeing what we have, and then knowing if we need to go in or not. <laughs>